Hello everybody, my name is Nick Simpson from webmasterbusinessplan.com and I just want to make this quick video to explain a little bit about creating links. I know that not everybody is a webmaster and is familiar with HTML and how to write HTML code. Um, I, many of my videos I talk about creating anchor text and creating links and uh, it's been brought to my attention that this may be above some people's heads so I want to go ahead and take some time to explain uh, what this is and, and how this works. So I have this folder over here. I just opened and made a made a generic one on my desktop that I'm going to work within and create a couple text files to show everybody how links work. Um, to start off with, I'm just going to go to New and we're going to make a uh, a text document and I'm going to open that up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as. Now I want everybody to understand that when I go to Save As down here under the file name. I'm going to choose, I'm going to call it index.html. I'm going to put these quotation marks around it. Now it's important that when you're doing this that you also use these quotation marks around this because it will change the file type automatically. Otherwise it's going to name the file index.html.txt. It's a text file and we don't want that. We want an HTML file for what I'm going to show you. So put the quotation marks, save it, and actually we can get rid of this other one I guess, right? Anyhow, um, what we've done is we've created a, an HTML file that is absolutely empty and you can edit this inside of Notepad. So I'm going to use a tool that anybody can use. I'm not using some uh, you know, fancy program or you know, front page or, or some software you have to buy. And I want everybody to understand that you don't need to spend money to, to do what I'm going to show you. And the method that I'm using is helpful for blog posting, it's helpful for forums, it's helpful for you know, Facebook, MySpace. Um, if you're writing articles and article websites, you need to understand how to write a good quality link and understand the different um, operators within it, basically. So, to start off with, um, here is the basic link code, which is a href equals and it equals in quotation marks whatever your website is guys so I'm gonna go ahead and put in one of my websites which is webmasterbusinessplan.com now in HTML anytime you open a tag you also have to close it you know, the closing tag is simply a backslash and A closes the link A is the tag and href is the actual reference to your your um, host here and anything in between these two tags is the anchor text that is going to show on the web page so if you wanted it to show your website address which you don't always want it to but just to show you an example if I said webmasterbusinessplan.com now when we go to file and save and then we open our file that's what the actual link is going to show now this is important because I want everybody to understand that you don't always want your web address to be your anchor text. Now when I speak about anchor text, that is the words you're seeing up here now. Anchor text normally, a lot of times is your website, but generally you're going to want it to be keywords. When we're focusing on keywords, guys, we need to know how to get those keywords in the link. This is how you do this. So let's go back to our, our document and now I'm going to use some keywords that I'm trying to focus on, okay? Free internet marketing videos is a set of keywords that I'm trying to focus on with my website. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and save that and then I'm going to refresh this. And now as you see our link says free internet marketing videos. So if this was the bottom of your uh, article that you wrote or at the bottom of a post on a forum or in your signature on a blog or you know wherever you're trying to get backlinks from if you're trading links with somebody and you want to use keywords in your in your link this is how you do that guys it is really easy but it's only easy if you understand how this works now I'm gonna go ahead and click this link and I want everybody to watch what happens it goes from this page to my page now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make another link and we're going to go a href 
equals, and we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste to cheat here a little bit, the same web address, but what we're going to do different in this one is we're going to use target equals, and then you have to use your quotation marks, but inside those we're going to put underscore blank. And then we're going we're gonna to close out this tag absolutely the same. We'll say free webmaster videos would be our anchor text for this one. We're going to go ahead and save that. Now, when I go back, I want you to understand that there's, there's a, a big difference in what we have in these two different links. They're side by side here. This one opens in the same window. The one we put underscore blank as the target opens in a new window. What that means is when someone clicks the link here it doesn't close this web page it opens externally in a whole new window. Now why is this important guys? Well there's a couple reasons this is hugely important. If you're working on a web page that's your own and you want to link externally to an affiliate site you always want to use the target equals blank code because that will open your affiliate program in a new window, but it leaves your website open in the background, and that's huge. Why send traffic away to some program, whether they buy it or not, when you can keep the visitor on your web page when they're done looking at the other program you have to offer? This is something that I use a lot. It's, it's a very simple tag. It's nothing fancy, guys. If you're using HTML, I know it's nothing new to you. But if you're not familiar with this, this is big. You can now make a link that will send someone off your page to a new website, but leave your web page open. This is a really cool thing to do, guys, uh, and I think this is something that everybody should take advantage of. Uh, keep your visitors when you already got them, okay? Now, I want to show you another thing really quick here. And here's another little HTML code for you. I'm going to sneak in here. BR, it's a line break, okay? Um, if we do file, save, and I'm going to resize this so we can see everything here, or you can see me while I'm telling you a story. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, if we refresh this now, line break pushes things down to the next level. So instead of hitting enter, if you're writing HTML code, you can hit uh, two BRs and that will push it down a new line. So now I'm going to go ahead and copy that code and I'm going to make a new link and this time I'm going to add another extra piece to the puzzle here that I want people to see what does and I'm going to add an alt tag, alt equals get your free videos here, we're going to go file, save, we're going to refresh our page. Okay, now what does this alt tag do? Well, it does a couple things, guys. If, if you're using a browser that supports the hover tag, it will add that to the, uh, the tag. When you point to it, it will hover and show that information. If you're on a picture, it will do the same thing. This is extra keywords within your document, guys. Just another way to jam some extra keywords into your link um, if you're looking for a way to do that. Of course, I always am. Now, that's all I got for this video, guys. Just wanted to show you guys a couple quick ways to set up your links. And depending on how you're going to uh, get this information out, I think that you know using uh, the first, if not the second method, is the best. Any of them work, but I just want people to know that you can put whatever words you want in your link. You don't have to use www.yoursite as your link. You can make it say anything in the world you want. And as far as Google is concerned, search engine optimization and backlinks to your website, you need to be using this anchor text correctly. Uh, good luck, and if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. Please leave me some stars, and please, 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 up at the very top right of this page, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, everyone.